Revelation 13 and 10, he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. Baraka to Yahweh, Baraka to Yahweh Shai. All praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Yahweh be the name of the Father, who people are going to call God, Yahweh Shai is his son. When people are going to call Jesus, Bahashem, Rakakudash, it's in the name of the Holy Spirit. And that's where we get our revelation, our knowledge, our wisdom, and understanding through these scriptures. Peace and blessings to you, Akim, out there that's constantly fighting the good fight of faith. Lord, will to the end. And double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone that taught us is true. And Lord, will this lesson be at a fine to the elect. Uh, going in today on, there's no good ending for you, Esau. There's no good ending for you, Esau. Esau, Edom, the so-called white man. That's that's who you are according to the scriptures in the Bible. That's who, you, you know, that's what your line goes back to. You're not uh, white. That's why we say so-called because you're not white. You know, you're uh, really a color of red because of blood showing through your skin. And, and you other nations, but really Esau, because at least for the other nations, you know, they're going to go into slavery, but then after a thousand years, their time going to be up. And then they, you know, they basically just go to their prospective places and they still going to be up under us, but they, they're not going to uh, be where they are no more, you know, where they're going to just, we don't know exactly how the Heavenly Father's going to do it because we know spirits don't die, so... We don't know exactly, you know, we'll find that in the kingdom. You know, that's that scripture says, uh, looking through a, a, a glass, a dark, a, a dark glass, something like that. Let me see if I can get this. All right. This is first Corinthians 13 and 12. For we now, for now we see through a glass darkly, but then face to face. Now I know in part, but then shall I know even as also I am known. So we don't know everything, how everything's going to transpire as far as, you know, when we on the other side of the, in the kingdom. But, you know, we know in part, we prophesy in part. But we do know that his end, Esau's end, is, is going to be inevitable. He's, he's going to no longer be, definitely no longer be uh, ruler of anything. So I'm just bring out a few scriptures. And Lord, will this lesson be edifying to the elect? Uh, going back to Revelation 13 and 10, he that leadeth into captivity, just like how he did the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. These are things that he's he's done, you know, and people want to try to forget. And, no, and, and it's prophesied that these things were going to happen, but it's also prophesied that the shoe is going to be on the other foot. So he that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's him receiving his reward of what he sold it says he that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword he destroyed umpteen numbers of of our people man he's 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 been a a, a a ruler with a with a with a hard fist on us man he's he's done some brutal uh things to us man so how he's killed our people you know, the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native American, that's how he's going to receive his punishment as well. It says, here's the patience and the faith of the saints. And that's what we're doing. We're just patiently waiting. The elect are patiently waiting. We just, and, and that you go in that word patient, it just meaning to suffer. So we, while we're waiting, we just suffering. Just like, all right, we got to go through this. But we know, you know, we, we, uh, <laughs> we got, you know, rubbing our hands together you know, our chops, like, oh, man, I can't wait. Salivating, just waiting for the, for that, uh, for that recompense, you know, for that, for that righteous anger, for that revenge. Because he's, he's, you know, he's just, uh, he's overkilled on us, man. Even to this day, this is, uh, This is Second Ezra six and nine. It says, "For Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that follows." So his time of rulership 
is coming to an end. You know, his his time of rulership, because we see how he's he's ruled in this world. We see how everything is turned upside down. We see how everything is led uh, to the slaughter with, with him in, in rulership. So it's time for the, the true kings to be in, in right standing and to, and to be in their position, man. That's why we uh, are, had to learn how it is to be at the bottom, man. So we're going to really appreciate when we're on the top. And when we're ruling in righteousness, we're going to be doing it you know, the, the correct way, we're going to have everything in its rightful order. That's why, the, you know, I always bring out the scripture, uh, when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. When the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. You know, that's what we always, that always comes out because we could see it, man. We could see the end of this damn devil's rulership, and we call him the devil because that's what he is. He's a deceiver. You look into that word. He's just a deceiver, man. He's deceived our people. He's deceived. Even his own, having him to believe that, you know, he's the pure one. That's why they call themselves white and, and, you know, us the black. You know, it's a, it's a depiction of what you think of when you hear these are the whites and these are the blacks. You know, the separation between the two, basically the good and the evil. But you know, what they say, uh, ain't that the, the, the kettle calling the, the pan black, something like that. But, how you know, how dare you? You the one that's you, your your whole your soul is black, man. The things you've done, you you uh, hung our women upside down, and you know cut their cut their while they were pregnant, cut their stomach, and the baby fall out and smash the baby, while the woman you know she's still alive seeing that, and then you know she's of course she ain't gonna make it, and then kill the baby so and then burn the child and uh, shoot the shoot the woman up and all kind of horrific things you've done to our people, man. So, hey, you ain't going to receive no mercy because you haven't shown no mercy. Why should we have any type of mercy on you? So go hard, you know. You might as well just continue to go hard as you can, you know, to try to wipe us out. But it's, it's, it's to no avail because we are we are those chosen people, man, that the Bible speaks of. It's not those people that's over there in the Middle East, you know, that, you know, them small hatters. It's, it's, it's us, man. The so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. We the ones that that line up with these with these curses that's written in Deuteronomy 28. You know, it's not you devils. Y'all don't y'all don't have these type of uh, uh, afflictions that come up against you. So it says, for Esau is the end of the world, and Jacob is the beginning of it that followed. I'm gonna jump to Revelation chapter two and verse 26. And he that overcometh and keep it my works unto the end to him will I give power over the nations and who's going to keep his his uh his will to the end it's going to be the elect which is the so-called black Latinos and Native Americans you don't see these other nations out there on the highways and edges uh speaking this truth they're not putting up lessons you know they're not doing what the Bible speaks about they're not endeavoring to keep the law statutes and commandments to the best of their ability you know they're 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 with this world, you know. They they take on all the things of this world and even make it even worse. They pollute it. Verse twenty seven it says, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of of a potter shall they be broken in shivers, even as I received of my father. So it's not going to be no repairing of you you, you uh, damn devils. You other nations going to catch it too, you know. Elam and you, you Moabites all. You, you East Indians and you and you Asians and you Africans, you hey, ham, y'all gonna catch it too. Cause you 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 Arabs, y'all y'all did our people dirty too. You like the scripture speak about where you lick the wounds, you know? You like the dogs that lick the wounds, because y'all profited off of our off of our uh, downfall, you know? Even even to now. You know, everything is all set up. It's like that uh what was that uh that slave owner, dang, what's his name? I got the book too. Uh, it's a it's a real small book. Dang, what's his name? Uh, but basically, he's he's speaking about his uh how to how to rule, you know, how to rule the so called black uh, slaves. Uh, dang, it was right on the tip of my uh, Willie Lynch. 
you know, how it's all set up for it to to continue once it was set up. And that's how it's going, you know, where you don't have to have chains and, you know, he set it up in a manner where now, you know, our, our trust against one another, the white, the woman is against the man, the children against the, the parents. And then everybody's in love with the damn devil, seeing him as he's the provider. You know, he's the one that that is the is the uh, one to trust. When it's the total opposite, you know. But again, that that's them curses. You know, having the evil eye towards his brother. You know, the, the, the woman uh, despising the man, a woman self surpass a man. All this is all set up. By the Heavenly Father, ultimately, that's the one that has it all set up. But he's using this damn devil. He saw Edom as, you know, as his whooping stick, as his, he using him, you know. And that's that's his gift, too. It says, and he shall, verse 27, and he shall rule them with the rod of iron as the vessels of potter. Shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. So it's going to be all she wrote for this damn devil. This is uh, Luke 16, starting at verse 19. Luke chapter 16, start at verse 19. It says, there was a certain rich man. This is, uh, you know, rich man in Lazarus. It says, there was a, a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fared sumptuously every day. And there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores. So, you know, this rich man is is uh, the, the example of Esau, you know, the, the one that's doing good. And then, you know, the beggar, Lazarus, that's the, you know, that's Jake. That's the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table, Moreover, the dogs came and licked his sores. That's the other nations. They came, you know, they profiting up, up off of us, you know, off of our off our wounds, off of our, you know, our lower estate. You know, you got all these liquor stores on these corners and who, who's running them. You know, you got uh, these uh, hair salons, you know, that sell the, 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 the hair, the beauty products. You know, who owns those? Uh, the majority of these places that are owned are owned by these other nations. It's not by us, but we're the biggest, uh, 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 not the producers, but the actual, but the, uh, when we, we, we're the buyers, you know, consumers. It says in verse 22, and it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell he lifted up his eyes, being in torments, and seeth Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in his bosom. And this ain't talking about the hell, you know, it's a, a state, you know, that you're in. It ain't talking about the, the fire of hell where you're, where you're burning in hell uh, forever and ever. It says in verse 24, and he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. And that's what, you know, we, we've asked for mercy, you know, we ask for, you know, our people were literally asking for mercy when they were, you know, in captivity. You know, they had tie us all together and, and throw us overboard, you know, have us all connected. They had that on that one movie. I forget what it, which which movie it was. I want to say it was 12 Years a Slave, where they were they were going and they were in, the, in the, the, the Pacific and they were going across and they just threw everybody off. Not everybody, but it was a, a, a big number of people. You know, women, men, they didn't give a damn. It says, and he cried, verse 24, and he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue for I am tormented in this flame. So the condition, you know, he that leadeth in cap into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here's the patience and the faith of the saints. So it will go around. It's going to come around. And now you're going to be asking us to have mercy. And no, it's, it's not going to happen. But Abraham said, son, remember that thou in thy lifetime receivest thy good things. And likewise, Lazarus evil things. But now he is comforted 
and thou art tormented. So again, what go around, come around. So you're not going to receive no mercy because you didn't show no mercy. You didn't show no damn mercy. So it's no need to have no pity parties for these damn crackers, man, for these damn devils. You know, they like being called crackers because, you know, they're cracking that whip. But, hey, we're not going to show no mercy towards them. This is Lamentations 4. verse 4 and verse 21 it says rejoice and be glad O daughter of Edom that dwellest in the land of us the cup also shall pass through unto thee thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked that us you know Babylon America it says verse 22 you know drunken all these different philosophies that they you know prescribed to it says uh i'm gonna start at 21 again it says rejoice and be glad O daughter of edom that dwellest in the land of us the cup also shall pass through unto thee what you dealt is going to be dealt back to you thou shalt be drunken and shall make thyself naked you know everything's being revealed about you it's no longer things is being uh put in a cut everything is being revealed about you damn devils it says just like how, you know, things is being shown about Jake that's in the industry and, you know, him going off. But when you lead, when you follow the the trail, where 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 will it lead to? That's what they trying to cover up. But, hey, the skirt is being lifted. Verse 22, it says, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished, O daughter of Zion. He will no more carry thee away into captivity. He will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He would discover thy sins. So, you know, you're going to reap what you saw. You know, all the sins that's, that you've been trying to show about our people, you know, of course, and we go off, man. Our people have become more wicked than the wicked. You know, our people, two-thirds of our people, they got to be put down, man, like some animals, because that's what they are. They like animals now. The women, the men, the children, they have become like brood beasts. But that's because they took on, you know, your, your way of life. You see all our people all tatted up. Our people got all these damn uh, piercings, you know, uh, crazy hair colors, doing all kind of abominable things, man. Eating all kind of way out foods, being a part of these uh, the alphabet groups. Our people are just, and, you know, once our people grab hold of it, they, they max it out, you know. They max out sin and don't let them make some money off of it. And that's what they starting to do now. They monetize everything. So Jake is starting to, you know, think that sin pays. And it, and it does here in Babylon. You know, you get paid for, for being uh, engulfed in sin here. It's not being, and this is supposed to be a God-fearing country, but nobody is is, is uh, getting, getting paid for, for what they're doing that's contrary to what the scripture says. In the scriptures, it, a lot of things that people are doing, they're supposed to be put to death for. But this, hey, they have you put your hand on the Bible here in a, in a court, and, you know, I don't even know if they do that anymore. I, I, I'm going I'm to look into it. But, you know, just the fact that that was, you know, back in, I believe it was Reagan, where they, they uh, made this, this uh, country was, you know, based off of the, the Bible. So, hey, we know that this is not, you know, uh, the, this damn devil that's in rule here, man. He has no no uh, desire to, to really uh, have our people, you know, being in a righteous type of state. He, he's really uh, rooting for us to be, you know, more towards the wicked. I'm going to jump to this next one. This is Jeremiah 30, and I'm going to close it on this one. Jeremiah chapter 30 and verse 16. It says, Therefore, all they that devour thee shall be devoured, and all thine adversaries, every one of them, shall go into captivity. And they that spoil thee shall be a spoil, and all that prey upon thee will I give for prey. So it's going to it's going to backfire everything you've done to the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Americans. 
And we just here putting it out there. You know, we giving our people hope, letting them know that, hey, this ain't the end all to be all. You know, there's, uh, there's, you know, there's light at the end of the tunnel. Because, you know, a lot of times it looks so dark and gloomy here for, for our people. You know, the majority, besides, you know, you got these so-called celebrities that, you know, they, they uh, are reaping their reward here. But, you know, they're going to be ashamed when they come back in the kingdom, man. They're going to have their head down for all the, the abominable things they did and how they joined hand in hand with this damn devil to, you know, to, you know, push his kingdom even further. But really, uh, that's the Habashim Yahushai setting it up because he, he's the, the scriptures say, uh, uh, man's going is of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? Because Yahabashim Yahushai has it all set up. You know, he's playing chess, you know, while the, while the masses are playing checkers. The Heavenly Father, he's the ultimate, you know, he, he wrote the script, man. It's all set up already. So, Lord will, this is edifying to the elect out there. And with that, all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders, a great millstone, peace and blessings to you. I come out there fighting this good fight of faith. Lord will to the end. Till next time, Lord will. Shalom.